Hello and welcome to the Arlovsky Consulting GBR. My name is Alexander Arlovsky. I am CEO of this company. And today I would like to present the services of my company. So what we do? We do software development and quality assurance. We do help our clients to understand their requirements. We create real and very honest estimates how we do our solutions for our clients. We have experts in, in Unity 3D game development. We have experts in the cybersecurity area, both for offense and defense implementations. So if you're interested, you can reach us via following websites, our main page, our virtual forum, and lately added our social network to stay in touch with us on 24 seven basis. So contact us and i will be very happy to speak with you in person we always find solutions for our clients thank you very much okay let's discuss the topic about unity 3d the book head first c sharp have big lab topic about unity 3d editor from my point of view the pros of the unity 3d it supports unit testing, so you can actually test uh, the logic of your game built in Unity 3D and can verify does it work, as you expect. Unity 3D is a cross-platform, which means you can run it on Linux, MacOS, and, and so further. It has very good documentation and it has very good community. You can always get help if you have any problem. And of course it's extensible. There are tons of things which you can do additionally in Unity 3D editor. And assets. You have a lot of free assets for the Unity 3D editor. Documentation part, I would like to mention here pretty important stuff where you can find information about how to write unit tests in Unity 3D then you have a special stack overflow site only about unity 3d questions and then you have a reference to my github repo where you can find some quick uh, notations about which you can use uh, during your project um, additionally i would like to add i, I was kind of puzzled uh, by the introduction at the beginning of this chapter in uh, in this book about unity 3d editor briefly you should be you should have some experience running unity 3d stuff if you would like to get the most out of the chapter which was presented in the book head first c sharp me personally it was not a problematic once uh, i'm using always the latest unity 3d editor later i will try to make some demo but right now i would like to express my impressions about the chapter which i have read about the unity 3d editor and i must say it's quite puzzling why the order of the topics kind of no not standard one i mean normally you present the programming concepts and then you present the work in the actual uh, coding tools in Visual Studio and then later in the Unity 3D environment. But this is how it goes. It can be very challenging for the people who are actually just starting. For me it was not challenging because I previously have experienced with Unity 3D professionally too. But I must say and repeat that it is a kind of puzzling to me why the book author decided to have a mm, example how to build stuff but without uh, previ previously to describe the, pr the logic of the programming language C sharp because uh, for people who are just really starting is they must understand that unity 3d has own application program interface meaning it has own environment where you build your project it's it is different uh, from the standard visual studio project which you maybe 
try it out but the, what I always find challenging when I need to add some additional stuff uh, which normally not was uh, expected to ha to be in the project of Unity 3D like uh, external libraries external services which not uh, configure fully f fully featured by the Unity 3D community or even not uh, tested against uh, Unity 3D environment but it is like it is I continue to progress uh, through the book but anyone who just watching right now at the moment and ask yourself does it make sense uh, to learn Unity of Redeem with this book? I'm not sure, uh, sincerely I'm not sure it just does not have this um, good presentation style which I probably expect to see so if you like really really want to go deep with unity 3d uh, look video courses or buy books which have goal as a core to work with unity 3d head first kind of uh, take some crucial parts of the environment of unity 3d but sometimes it's just missing the point of using it this is my um, personal subjective opinion about and let's continue okay quick example how to do the stuff right unity 3d ball game let's see <coughs> so this is a project which i have created for the game and now let's see the code okay you see the code for the game controller pretty basic but what about this one ball prefab object it's a game instance object it's a ball but uh, what most important about this stuff is how i do behavior <coughs> of the object let's see one ball behavior <coughs> it's the same as in, in the book but the difference is I instantiate this class through the one ball behavior controller so, so we see how it goes and this is I think the right way to do the behavior stuff of the objects so I have my unit tests Okay, you see, uh, I check different type of the behavior of the object, and the tests are passing. Let me run it. So all tests pass, and the game. time to spin up okay let me yeah so clearly it works I do that like that and yeah I continue now the next topic will be interfaces and this will be a much more complicated topic but I think it will be good. I hope it it is described very good in the book. Let's see. And here we go. Interfaces. So mm, the book had first C sharp presents pretty in depth the stuff about interfaces. I like it a lot. You clearly show the intent of the author to teach you how to use interfaces. I have some caveats, basically on my experience with the interfaces in C Sharp. Uh, interfaces, uh, they are main goal 
to have a contract. It allows to make a special behavior in different type of classes. And even those classes can be or be inherited once. So you have base class and you have your subclasses like father and child connection. Um, let me say following additionally it can be complicated with interfaces because interfaces is the same case as with java programming language uh, they allowing you to have kind of the same stuff like in c++ uh, double inheritance but quite differently achieved and let me go to the code let me go to the code and see how it goes so i decided to create my own example and it begins like following i have my car class here you see this test for the car class i'm testing that i can create this class instance and call this method set engine power on and, and expect this string and the same goes for the vehicle uh, motorbike test sorry motorbike test i have my motorbike and i expect to see a different quite different message let's run let's show you what what is the connection so i drivable is an interface which, which basically state any class which use me should implement this method and this is what i have done motorbike have on set engine power on and car has on set engine power on the example vehicle test is a, an example how how exactly you can use the classes which implement the interface so basically cre create here instance of the car, instance of motorbike and call them not through the main data type, but I'm calling them through the interface data type. I repeat again, I'm calling through the interface data type. And how it happens, uh, let me see. Here we have uh, one second. Actually, actually, <laughs> so actually, it should work uh, something different. It should be di quite differently. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So I, 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 mean I forgot to to do the stuff, but it can be done. And this is kind of interesting. So here, car message. Let me do some quick magic. Let me introduce the interface class drivable. wanted to show you the we, that you actually can call via interface data type all classes which implements interfaces can be called via interface data type and this is what I actually missed to do right but it's okay I will do it right now the same goes like here I drivable solution uh, I forgot the name wrong wrong name so now it should work let's run the tests some minor notation nothing special let me run the test was my text 
test explorer let me run the first test build started successful build and that should pass yeah pass so now i have this test rewritten and let's rerun other test and this is the actually power of tdd i have written test i can easily refactor and what is this i like the most about test driven development you can refactor if you have many tests without them good luck and yeah so basically it works it works it works it works let me run all example vehicle tests for people who don't believe me but i will uh, after this video deploy to the github the new solution and once again let me switch to the this will be the next chapters in my book in-depth book review this is what i plan to cover in some future but overall an expression about interfaces use it with care you can have multiple interfaces for one and the same class it is possible you can do pretty complicated stuff with the interfaces my advice if you don't like to debug your code you should always write unit test to clarify what you actually implementing it's pretty important uh, you cannot test directly the interface because it is it is abstract after all so you need to like think about what your contract is what your contract terms is in in your class inheritance and this is what actually they had first book quite missing no i mean not an entirely missing but it, it's not uh, pinpointing that you should use interfaces pretty carefully because uh, it actually can happen that you have your father class subclasses child classes which instantiating own methods like on calling on methods but in the same time you can have an ev reference to the father class uh, and this will can complicate the stuff so clear and s clean separate interfaces is a thing it's not always possible in real life i saw projects where it was pretty messy but you can try to clean the mess and do the best job possible but really with the point of interfaces to have a kind of workaround for the multiple inheritance which you have normally in C++ but in C++ you have different problems I would not mention here because this uh, supplementary course all about C Sharp and this is what I want you to show for the C Sharp interfaces